I think, and yes, we work together in lots of different fun, exciting ways. And um, I get something from every encounter with you. Mind Over Matter uh, really allowed me to sort of focus in week by week with very specific things to think about, things to embody, things to practice. And each of those things built on the next one, which then, um, even though I tend to look for like huge milestones and big leaps as proof or evidence of progress and growth, um, feeling the, the smaller subtle changes and allowing for those little steps to come in and sort of build upon each other is actually what now looking back, I can see has provided those milestones that I didn't even, and the big leaps that I didn't even know were in the works. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, um, it, it's sort of like, it's sort of like just day by day. You say a lot about um, small, small progress, one degree at a time, one thing at a time. Mind Over Matter is the program that for me provided the many different aspects of what one thing and one degree and one small step at a time could mean and the benefit over time the benefit of course while doing it but then over time is that those things do add up those things are important those things all make a difference um the smallest shifts such as even just changing one word uh, the biggest one that stood out to me from mind over matter in the last um installment was changing from want to desire and it's a seemingly very small thing. It's just one word. It's just two words, just change a word, but it makes such a huge impact in how it feels to be in the desiring versus being in the wanting. And day after day, that sort of thing adds up. And it, again, it, it does give me the huge leaps and bounds that I look for, but, um, but not necessarily every day, sort of when you look back and go, oh, okay. I see what this one tiny thing over time has done for me. And it's, mm. it's huge. I mean, that was a big goal of ours and mine in building out the program was to leave you with tools where it's not like you need me ongoing or anyone really. Like you can come back to these same principles and just deepen into them. And that's what it sounds like you're saying happened for you. Yeah, yep. it is the deepening. It's going deeper. It's not looking for more. It's not looking for different tools. It's not that I need... Um, reassurance or anything all the time. It's okay. These things are now learned. I've gone through the process of implementing them little and big each um, in different parts of my life. And, uh, and yeah, the, then I can take those things and apply them and um, move forward. Honest opinion about the hypnosis tracks in Mind Over Matter, because you've had customized ones for you and you've had experience with hypnosis. How do you feel about the tracks that were included with this program? Um, I loved the progression of having uh, sort of different ones to apply to different spaces of being because each week as you move through the program, you do open yourself up to different spaces of being. And so for me, having the progression of the tracks was really important. Um, and I, uh, it, for me, it's both the tracks and it's also the practice of the tracks taking that time every day for 21 days. I put it in my calendar. I set an alarm for a certain time every day to do it. Um, again, it's putting me first. It's putting my progress first. It's putting little steps into place first. And then of course the deeper work of what the hypnosis track itself is doing. But I think both of those things are, are important for me or have been important for me. Yeah. This question is going to sound totally teed up, but honest, again, <laughs> honest response. Are you going to take it again? Um, I'm going to take it again until you no longer offer it. And then I'll go rewatch the ones that are, that I have access to. <laughs> That's what I've well, done. There we go. I've gone back through them. So. This, and just yeah. like to close it out here. Why, why, why go back? Why, why keep doing it? Um, I, I'll tell you this. Um, two reasons. One is because every day I'm in a different place and I get a different um, learning moment 
for going back. I hear different things and I, and I'm able to implement different things in my life. Um, and two, uh, every time that I go back and review, um, my notes and I know the next one is coming. So I kind of did this recently. Every time I go back and review my notes, um, I both get something new from it just from reading the notes or I get a reminder of something that maybe I had forgotten or had prioritized something else in front of. But I also got to feel the progress of looking at where I was last spring to where I am now. And I was like, oh, so good, <laughs> so <Yeah>. good. <laughs> oh, I love that, I love that.